First World War. Triumph Motorcycles Model H was mass-produced for the war effort and is notable for its reliability. During the First World War, motorbike production was significantly ramped up for the war effort to supply effective communications with frontline troops. Messengers on horses were replaced with motorcycle dispatch riders carrying messages, performing reconnaissance, and acting as military police. American company Harley-Davidson was devoting over 50% of its factory output toward military contracts by the end of the war. During the war, the British company Triumph Motorcyclist sold more than 30 son of its Triumph Type H model to Allied forces. With the rear wheel driven by a belt, the Model H was fitted with a 4999cc 30.5 QN air-cooled four-stroke single-cylinder engine. It was also the first Triumph without pedals better source needed. The Model H in particular is regarded by many as having been the first modern motorcycle. It was introduced in 1915 and had a 550cc side valve four-stroke engine with a three-speed gearbox and belt transmission. It was so popular with its users that it was nicknamed the Trusty Triumph. Stay tuned to our Motor Specs and Speed channel for daily updates on motorcycles. Post-war motorcycle rider on his Rudge Whitworth motorbike, Australia. C. 1935. By 1920, Harley-Davidson was the largest manufacturer, with their motorcycles being sold by dealers in 67 countries. Amongst many British motorcycle manufacturers, Chatterlea stood out with its twin-cylinder models, followed by its large singles in the 1920s. Initially, Using a converted Woodman-designed OHV Blackburn engine, it became the first 350 Cs to exceed 100 mph, 160 kmh, recording 100.81 mph, 162.24 kmh, over the flying kilometer during April 1924. Later, Chowder Lee set a world record for the firm's flying kilometer at 322 Seek and 500 Seek C motorcycles at 102.9 mph, 165.6 kmh. Chaterlia produced variants of these world-beating sports models and became popular among racers at the Isle of Man TT. Today, the firm is probably best remembered for its long-term contract to manufacture and supply AA patrol motorcycles and sidecars. By the late 1920s or early 1930s, DKW in Gay in the 1950s, streamlining began to play an increasing part in the development of racing motorcycles. And the dustbin fairing held out the possibility of radical changes to motorcycle design. NSU and Moto Guzzi were in the vanguard of this development, both producing very radical designs well ahead of their time. 37. NSU produced the most advanced design, but after the deaths of four NSU riders in the 1954-1956 seasons, they abandoned further development and quit Grand Prix motorcycle racing. 38. Moto Guzzi produced competitive race machines and had a succession of victories until the end of 1957. The following year, 1958, the FIM banned full enclosed fairings from racing due to safety concerns. From the 1960s through the 1990s, small two-stroke motorcycles were popular worldwide, partly as a result of East German MZ's Walter Caden's engine work in the 1950s. Stay tuned to our Motor Specs and Speed channel for daily updates on motorcycles and more. Royal Enfield Bullet In the 21st century, the motorcycle industry is mainly dominated by Indian and Japanese motorcycle companies. In addition to the large capacity motorcycles, there is a large market in smaller capacity. Less than 300 cc key motorcycles, mainly concentrated in Asian and African countries and produced in China and India. Citation needed. A Japanese example is the 1958 Honda Super Cub, which went on to become the most significant selling vehicle of all time, with its 60 millionth unit produced in April 2008. Today, this area is dominated by primarily Indian companies, with Hero Moto Corp emerging as the world's largest manufacturer of two wheelers. Its Splendor model has sold more than 8.5 million to date. Other significant producers are Bajaj and TVS Motors.